Well, how do that, chums? As I, Captain of the Steves. Now, you've probably noticed I am inside of No Man's Sky. Yes, that little image there gives it away, doesn't it? And I'm at the actual base that I built for Zoo Games Send Off. Yes, there's my cannon over there. Lovely jubbly. But what I haven't done is visited the other bases. Now, I've had quite a lot of feedback on my previous video. If you didn't see my video tour of this base, and I'll put a link up there and go hit that one up if you want. But today's episode, people, I'm just going to fly around and go to a couple of the bases that I can see in nearby vicinity. I wonder if the actual portals work in now. I wonder if I can portal over to them. Uh, let's have a quick look, see if that's an option. Because the, the nice thing is, when you try to portal to a base inside of systems, it actually downloads the base first. Oh, great, it's out of power. Right, if I grab this and this and chuck that into here, boom. Hopefully I can kick this back into life. Oh, whoops. Um, wrong one. That one there. Chicka boom. And we'll stick some fuel in. Ah, it's not enough. Okay, right, when we're going over to this one, let's uh, input this one into there as well. Chicka pow. Go on. Work, dang you. There we are. Now let's go see if we can make any other bases load in. You know what? Let's make myself a little bit bigger on the screen, people. That'd be better, wouldn't it? Okay, so if I go to other bases over at the side here and scroll down, I should see in this system. There you go. Pyramid. And this one's by Ibiz Pops. Let's see if we can make that one load in. Oh, it looks like it's going to work. Let's go there. Let's go see that base by Ibiz. Haha, <laughs> sweet. Lovely jubbly. Well, while we're warping over, might as well have a little bit more of my cup of tea. Might as well. Yes, people, this is a fundraising video as well. So, Zoo's family said little mini acts of kindness. So I've chose a charity that's closer to me than the Big Cats charity, but I've already given to the Big Cats charity of Zoos anyway. If you hit up Zoos' latest videos, his fundraisers are still active on his actual videos. And the nice thing is, is if you hit it up, you get a little message from Zoo pop up. And um, yeah, it took me by surprise that a little bit, see a little message from Zoo. It was lovely. Anyways, um, yeah, my, my one's for children in hospital, and it's to get them gaming consoles in hospital, so they've got something to do. So there we go, iBiz Pops. So yeah, let's go inside of this one here. What a cool pyramid. Wow, it's a four-sided pyramid made with triangles. Very nice. I like all the foliage and your little heaters here. It looks like there's like a little bench area, like a pew, almost like a church in a roundabout way. And some sort of podium up here, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, actually, no, sorry, that, that's not a podium. I think that might be a casket, people. I think that's what it is. And then there's like a, a place here for a eulogy to take place, perhaps. I think that's what it's supposed to be, and I just jumped on it. What a complete muppet! I'm sorry about that. OK, well, let's head on out of here and let's go into camera mode and let's have a better look at this base inside of camera mode, people. Oh, very nice. And all this foliage has been added there as well. There's a teleporter there. I wonder where the teleporter takes the... Oh, there's more all the way over here, by the looks of things, people. It's still rendering in. Oh, and look, it says Zoo. Ah, oh, that's freaking awesome. OK, well, let's jump in the teleporter. Let's see where the teleport takes us anyway, people. Maybe it's a viewing platform to up above or something. Oh, I think it might be. I think I could be right. OK, um, I'm not too sure where that's actually taken me. Tell the truth, people. Quite a distance away, I'd imagine. Oh, it's up there. Oh, OK, cool. So it's not a viewing platform. It's an under platform. And look, I didn't even see that. So, yeah, if Zoo does like his kaleidoscopes. It's got a kaleidoscope and a pyramid at this base. What an awesome, awesome base. OK, right, well, let's go back through that teleporter because there is actually a portal at this base that I can use to load in the next base. Let's go do that. Let's go load in the next base, people. What a lovely base. Awesomes. OK, other bases. Scroll on down to the bottom and hopefully I'm going to see another one. So is that is that here as well? Zen Garden by Gary 420X. Let's see if that loads in. It has. Oh, this is working well today, people. Sometimes this doesn't overly work too well, but it seems to be working right now. It's a lovely jubbly. Have a little sip of the tea. Yummy. 
so yeah i've got about i think of three this will be the third video that i've done for uh zoo so i've done one just to announce when the update well when the whole event was going to be and also to give away the portal code so you could get yourself over here to do a build the other video i did was on my own build and this third is probably going to be my final one um i want to let zoo rest in peace after this one but this is just to showcase other people's builds here oh my days that is such a cool use of the grass and stuff isn't it wow that's really clever making an archway like that and how colorful it is i love all the lighting panels here as well i love the banisters with the new sort of signs i never thought of using those as banisters but that works so well Oh, I like this. It's just a little chair to just take a pew and take in the sights of this, like, lovely garden that you've put together. Oh, that is so fitting, isn't it? That is really cool. Love it. All right, well, let's head on over because it looks like there's a giant pyramid type structure. Again, a four sided one. I like the use of the decal on the outside. I don't even know. Oh, they're the tops of mushrooms sticking out of the fronts there very clever let's head in through the doorway oh i'm loving the surrounding garden around the edges the little sort of mats and stuff to take a pew and take a relax and look you've even put one of these in the center a kaleidoscope oh and you've got little ships all the way around it that looks freaking cool okay that that is that is really really something very nicely done very very nice Oh, and there's another kaleidoscope there, and one above me that's actually moving with Jalafarge. And another one over here. Oh. Wow! That is so wow! Wow indeed! Okay, people, this is this is amazing. Is there a teleport here that I can use to load in the next base? I don't know. I didn't see one on my travels around, people. Oh, balls. Okay, right. Well, in that case, I might have to fly to the next one. Oh, I like that as well. Look at that giant kaleidoscope above it. That's freaking epic. Yeah, so I might have to fly to the next base and just hope that there's another teleporter here. So yeah, I did read out the person's name that done this base, but I can't find the base computer now. It's it's quite well freaking hidden, isn't it? All right. Well, anyway, you know who you are. Well done with your base. It looks freaking excellent, eh? All right. Well, let's uh, scout around then. And let's have a look for the next base that I can go to. So I'm going to go to Temple of the Patron Saint. Okay, we'll go there. It doesn't say... Oh, there we go. Mac Cajun's base. So we go to Mac Cajun's base and take a look. You know, I might only do a few of these. I might only do a, a few. Um, because if you want to come here, I want you to enjoy this yourselves and have a better look around. So I'm just doing whichever ones I can hit on up. So let's take on off and let's fly on round. So what I would say is it tends to really render in, say, the last 12 or so bases uploaded. So even if you've come here once, give it a good couple of weeks, come back again, you might see a different 12 bases or so. So it, it's one of those. Just come back whenever you've got some free time and have a little look-see, because it, it's an evolving place, and what a beautiful place it is. It's a fantastic planet. It is in Eisentam, though, people. So if you don't know how to get to Eisentam, I have done a video on how you can get to Eisentam fairly quickly. I'll put a link up there. So if you need to get to this system, you want to get to it fast, go give that video a watch because it's, it's using the portal bases. When I say portal bases, the bases inside of the actual Nexus, the featured bases. Sometimes there's a base for Eisentam, and I believe there is still one at the moment on the making of this video. And also in that video link that I put up there, which gives you a little bit of a, a butchers on how to do that. Oh wow, look at this. It's got it's got a pyramid again, four-sided, and it's got one of those lovely doohickeys. One of those doohickeys, the kaleidoscopes that he loved so much. And he's used all the latest crystals of the sentinels in. That looks epic. That looks really cool. Alright, well let's um can I head into here? It doesn't look oh, there's a staircase. Lovely. Head round here. Bum bum bum. Another staircase going down. Cool. Yo. Oh, and we can go inside, people. Oh, look at this. This is epic. Oh, and it's got a teleporter. Cool. It's got loads of nip-nip here, people, that you could partake in. Uh, a little traveller sort of marker and a hologram, maybe talking about Zoo's exploits inside of the verse. That goes. Let's use this little teleporter. Let's see where this one goes, firstly. Site to site location. Rest in peace, Zoo. We miss you. And there's like a... Ah, uh, uh, a comms ball down there. I don't know whether I can put my own comms ball down here or whether it'd be welcomed. But, oh, look at these little guys in this little cave. Isn't that lovely? That is so lovely. All right, anyway, let's uh, teleport back out. That's so cool. 
and I'm going to use this teleport here. I think I might just visit one more base because this is just a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. It's it's very short, um, so yeah, I, I don't I, like I say I don't really want to to go crazy and showcase everything that I can. Jay Lazarus of Jay Death. Um, he, he frequents my live streams quite a lot, so I might go and hit that one up. But I'm, I'm seeing others here as well. Um, I think that one might be... Uh, yeah, I think that's... I think I know that person. Um, we've got Cockbilly Bob as well. Lizzie Bat as well. Yeah, there's there's quite a lot of well-known people inside of the verse here, people. So, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, Yuckle... Maybe, out of Duck Tea, I think they just became... A, I think they subscribed and maybe even backed my channel. We've got Shiny Red Flag as well there. Another frequent person to my um, streams. Action Pants Gaming. But it's got work in progress on the end, so I probably won't go to hit that one up. There's all sorts here, isn't there? There really is. Inside Vortex. I love Inside Vortex's builds. But you know what? I'm going to go for Jay Lazarus, um, mainly because um, he, he frequents my chats quite a lot. But not only that... Um, I think the others have all had some sort of featurette inside of Rice's. I don't believe I saw them Ricey go to this one. So Ricey did a massive showcase, people. He did a massive showcase of all these bases. It went on for about four hours. If you want to see that, I'll put it up there. Flowery Squirrel and Sazable also covered it. So if you prefer to watch from their angles, there was a massive live event for all of this, people. But anyway, here we go. So we're in Jade Lazarus's base here, people. Wow. Wow, I, I really... Oh, my days. Holy fudge. Look at that. Look at that. That's really cool, isn't it? Using all the race initiators like that as well inside of the kaleidoscope. Gives it a bit of movement. Gives it a bit of depth. I like the fish tank as well. This is great. I like the glass pyramid effect that you've got going on here. And I think this is one of those gnarly doors that all... Are, yes, look at that. That's cool, isn't it? Very cool. Very nicely done, Jay Lazarus. This is this is really nicely done. I guess. Very nice pyramid. Oh, look, there's something on the top of this pyramid as well. I've always wondered about pyramids in real life and whether the capstone served more of a purpose. I've heard that they used to all be lime rendered on the sides and then had a golden capstone at the top. And people have speculated all sorts when you look at um, ancient alien theologies and stuff like that. I do like a good conspiracy. I'm not talking about the serious conspiracies, you know, like the whole, you know, 9-11 stuff and things like that. I'm on about the fun conspiracies like pyramids and their origins. They're the conspiracies I like. The hollow earth one, reptilian ones. I like the crazy, crazy ones. I, I like the ones that are sort of like touch and fringe. I don't really like ones like JFK assassinations and all that sort of wheel weldy stuff. Couldn't really care less for those ones, to be honest. I'm more into the, the, the fantasy type ones. Yeah, so a lot of people say, oh, Captain Steve loves a good conspiracy. I, I do and I don't. I, I, I like some. I pick and choose. <laughs> well, there we go. There we are. Look at this. This is pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Looks amazing. Anyway, nicely done, Jay Lazarus. So, yeah, I think I'm probably going to end off here at the moment, people. I mean, it's gone to night time. I can't use that portal anyway. But I think I've featured enough bases here to give you an idea, a bit of a little mini taste of what to expect if you come here yourselves. And I strongly suggest that you do try and come here yourselves because all of these bases are very inspirational. I mean, just looking around some of these, the things I'm going to take away from this, I'm definitely going to be starting to use those those neon signs as banisters and stuff. That was a freaking awesome idea. So it's, it's well worth a look, even if it just gives you food for thought for your own base builds. But not only that, it's nice to walk on the planet that you knew was key to a zoo sort of experience inside of game it's kind of a lovely sort of mem memorial a whole memorial planet full of memorial bases for a, a real cool chap that's worth remembering you know it's um one of those anyway got a bit of a lump in my friend i need to have a little sip of tea a little sip of tea get rid of that lump in my friend there you go people I mean, I, I know I didn't know him as well as most, um, but I did know of him. I, I loved his videos, um, especially his patch releases. I don't know how he managed to do them so quick. Freaking, I, I, sometimes I'd see Zoo's video before I even see the patch notes from Shaun of the Murrays. It's freaking awesome. And I really liked his speculation videos. As you know, I do a lot of speculation. And I used to watch his take and go, oh, actually, yeah, I missed that. He, oh, dang it. He got me. Uh, other times it'd be like, oh, OK, well, I got I got one over Zoo. Yeah, you know, that sort of stuff. I, I always saw it as a little bit of healthy sort of, not even competition, but just 
it's nice to see other people's take when it comes to speculation, because the thing of speculation is no one's right. It's speculative. It's theories. It's theorizing. It's nice. It's almost like a science in a roundabout way without the science. That doesn't make sense, does it? It don't, but it does in my head. Anyway, so yeah, I do like watching speculation videos and, and that's that's now been ripped away, sadly, um, before it's time. Yeah, and you know, I, I did like his, um, his Friday night stuff that he did with um, Ricey and so forth and so on. I've been tuning in quite regularly in the recent weeks, especially because I wanted to see if they managed to get to the 32 player count. You know, the 32 player lobbies, because on PC it's far better than on um, console at the moment, the count. So I was often in the live chat, ch chiming in with crazy things for them to try, like surfing on sentinel ships while they're hovering above. So, yeah, if you haven't tried this, if you've got a mate that's in a sentinel ship, they hover in place. You can actually stand on the ship now and sort of surf them. And I, I mentioned it inside of the chat and you had Zoo and Ricey and everybody trying to surf on ships. Oh, it was great fun. And that was a few that was a few weeks before um, Zoo passed. And yeah. Anyway, people, take care. Goodbye, goodbye and goodbye again.